Navigating through the energies of New Earth is not an easy process and can become extremely overwhelming at times. As we all ascend into higher frequencies, we're all being guided to embrace our own unique divine pathway, a pathway created in the vibration of love. Join Vibe Nation radio host, international psychic medium, Carrie Turcotte, as she guides her listeners to rediscover themselves by accessing the keys of knowledge that already exist within. Each week's show is divinely orchestrated to intertwine with the universal energies, allowing the listeners to go deeper within and understand the message being shared even greater. When you live in the frequency of love, there is no competition, so Carrie will be joined regularly by fellow soul family members who will bring forth wisdom and knowledge she knows should be shared on a global level. At the end of each show, Carrie will tap into the energies of the listeners to see what message Spirit wants to share with all those listening in for the upcoming week. If you really want to get to know who you truly are, come and join us now on Vibe Nation Radio, here on the IOM Radio Network. Hello, 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 my friends, and welcome to another edition of Vibe Nation Radio, where this week's charting of the tides is going to be a little different. Uh, Chris and I did a little contest online, and we have two people that will be joining us later in the show, and we're going to be doing live Luminous Soul readings for them. And Chris, my dear friend, are you there? I am, in fact. And it is uh, kind of a nice build-up. We've got... Uh, a lot of things happening in the sign of Aries right now. The sun has entered into Aries and is bringing that warmth of spring. So after a tumultuous winter, I think uh, everybody's ready to kind of open up the windows and air out the house. Yeah, absolutely. It's... uh it's, it's, we've got a lot to uh, look forward to is what I'm feeling. Uh, I'm getting this is a very, you know, a lot of, a very important month to do a lot of inner work and the healing and so forth. But what we're going into, it's, again, with all the re's, everyone, everything's going into retrograde. <laughs> so it's a really good time to really go in and clear out that which needs to be healed so we can move forward. It's, uh, you know, there's got a lot of crazy coming up, but I think that through the crazy, we're going to see a lot of clarity. Well, yeah, and I think this coming full moon is going to be quite interesting to watch because uh, we have the full moon arriving in the sign of Libra uh, at 21 degrees, so it's in that latter decant, and um, it will be opposing Uranus in Aries. It will be squaring Pluto in uh, Capricorn, and we've all been seeing, you know, how irritable these aspects have been so we're going to have another cycle of that but within that um, we're going to see the scales start moving in that direction of falling more into balance and um, you know this coming full moon interestingly enough is uh, the same full moon that uh, came around what was it uh, 200 and some odd years ago when Marie Antoinette was uh, removed from uh, uh, her rather lofty position in the material world, and the guillotine unfortunately came into play there. But nonetheless, this energy in this particular full moon in that later decan of Libra does have um, that vibe around it, of, uh, oh, exile, downfall, uh, <clears throat> uh, karma catching up with you, I guess you could say. <laughs> Good, but yeah, absolutely. Just come out and say it, right? Karma's going to kick you in the butt. <laughs> well, it uh, probably will be happening on a much larger level than in our personal lives. I think that <clears throat> we'll see it on a societal level playing itself out. <clears throat> uh, so... Uh, I think in our own personal lives, you know, we've got a lot of things going on here with this uh, series of retrogrades, but most significantly we'll have Venus uh, in the month of April retrograding into Pisces. It just actually has done that. 
and it'll be spending a little bit of time in Pisces and then turning around and moving back forward again. And Venus is very happy in Pisces. So uh, as we move forward, a lot of people may see some dreams that they have been trying to aspire to that are finally coming into play. And um, most specifically, you know, things like enhancing your home, enhancing uh, your business activities, uh, that sort of thing. It's uh, Venus is a very nice planet and it's very happy in Pisces, and it seeks to bring harmony into our day-to-day -day existence. So that's the good news. That influence will be going on pretty much all month also. And, uh, yeah, other than that, you know, I mean, it's uh, really just, you know, same story, different day for the month of April. There will be some fireworks around this full moon, and then as we're moving into the latter part of the month, when the, when the uh, sun enters into Taurus, we'll see things get more established, more secure, and uh, things will be settling in. Very nice. Yeah, I, it's the only thing I've been channeling is with regards to April is the, the week of the 16th to about the 22nd. There's just the energies are going to be up and down and all over the place. And it, it, again, it's just trying to allow you to stay within that balance that don't don't feed into the fear. You know, if, if there's fear going on around you, observe it. Try not to absorb it. And it's it's really allowing you to, you know, speak your truth. I think that going out there and saying this is who I am and this is where I'm going, I, I feel that you might have people against you that week, but this is about your inner strength and your wealth. Like, who are you? Are you worthy of where you're going? And I think you might be tested that week, is what I'm picking up on. Yeah, I think that the, definitely the the universal energies are supporting that. So um, yeah. it is going to be a period here when you're going to have to just, you know, be mindful and be present in your life. You can't make assumptions and uh, then walk away from, you know, whatever you've got sitting on the stove. Yes. Absolutely. It's, uh, I, I feel that, again, I, I truly believe that a lot of people, um, especially those who are in the collective, that are, I just feel like a lot of people are waking up right now. And with that many people waking up, again, it's just intensifying the energy. And But I feel that it, as a whole, again, knowing that we are all connected, I, I do feel that if you're available and living in the moment, this is when the universe can bring that magic into your reality that you couldn't even imagine because we've never been here before. So this is about just being available and knowing that you're worthy of whatever the universe is working with you on a vibrational level. That it is. <laughs> so I feel like I just got a message saying we actually are, before we go to commercial break, um, which will be in a few minutes, but... For those that are listening in, if you've never um, had a reading by Chris or myself, we're just going to do a little mini readings today on the show where we have two winners. We have Carol, who will be the first caller that's coming in after the commercial break, and then Lisa. And we're just giving you a little taste of what the Luminous Soul readings are all about. And I'm really excited about this. I feel that, um, you know, the spirits, I can feel them anyways. And I am. They're, they're ramping up the energy. So um, I'm excited about this, Chris. Yeah, I think we've got something going on that's unique. It's um, a nice fusion of different modalities. And um, astrology is also a good, you know, um, background to work with simply because <clears throat> it is reflective of our position in context to all of the planets in the solar system and some of the outer stars. And so... It um, it is a template that uh, gives us insight and overviews. Yes, and to me, I mean, it, it is a spiritual tool. I would advise everyone to have it in their spiritual toolbox. It is important to go deeper within the astrology and know where you align personally with what's happening. Because again, um, I don't know. I can use as an example that we're in a year one with regards to numerology for the planet. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're in a year one, because I'm in a year eight. So, you know, again, like going deeper, I'm just using it as an example with astrology. When you go deeper into your natal chart, 
it really allows you to understand what are you dealing with right now when we're going through this because what you're dealing with might not be you know the same as someone else you know it's very unique and different it's just the energy and how to work with it absolutely yes and uh, uh developing you know the ability to just let it happen to be comfortable with whatever is going on with the realization that um out of this current whatever circumstance, whether it's tumultuous or, you know, celestial, either one, uh, ultimately you're learning skills about uh, how to make things happen. You're learning skills about, you know, what life is in the bigger sense of the word. Yes, absolutely. And as you all hear, um, Chris is going to do – um, you know, just this, it's only obviously it's 10 minutes, my friends, the reading, so it's like five minutes and five minutes. So it's just a, a sneak peek of what we, we can tap into. And, and Chris is going to talk about the charts, and then while he's talking about that, I will start to communicate with Spirit to see what they want to tell Carol, according to what Chris is actually talking about. So I think this is going to be very cool. I can feel, I can feel the energy picking up here in my, in my place right now. <laughs> Yes, it definitely is starting to amp up, which is uh, yeah. a lot of fun. Awesome. So when we get back, my friends, all right, we'll have our first caller with Carol, and we'll back up. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. As difficult as it is to believe, there are places in Africa where human traffickers sell albino children and their body parts for use in magic rituals. Humanity Healing International is actively working in Uganda to change this paradigm. The Albino Rescue Project finds albino children who are at risk and places them in safe schools and environments where they can learn and grow free from fear. To learn more or to sponsor a child, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Have you been searching for a perspective beyond the mainstream? Check it out. Join your host, Elito Pasquale and Diana Gold Holland on Share International Radio for thought-provoking views behind the news. Sundays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. You can also find us at shareontheairradio.org. This may be the message of hope you've been waiting for. How to be a great dad in 15 seconds. Bike ride, go fish, walk in the park, phone call, milkshake, play catch, picnic, fly a kite, tell jokes, laugh, dock, read a story, tell a story, bumper car, swing set, bowling, pillow fight, cut loose, stay tight. Whew. Because the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. The Chartings of Life I am doing with Chris Anderson, better known as One Feather, and he is an intuitive astrologer. And we are now going to be doing little mini luminous soul readings. And Carol, are you there, my friend? I'm on the phone. Hello. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations. Hi, Hi Chris. So, Chris, go ahead, my friend. Okay. Well, Carol, it's interesting because <clears throat> looking at your chart here, you have had probably about three and a half, four years where you were kind of going through a rough and tumble cycle. Does that seem right? Rough and tumble. There's been a lot of good, though, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, well, you went through a Saturn return, and Saturn return is always kind of a tumultuous time. It's where we're, you know, looking at life and trying to assess where we're at and make plans for, you know, the next level of our lives. So, uh, you know, that is always a, a period of critical review. 
And so I would say that um, now as you're launching further forward with, you know, Saturn moving into your sixth house and uh, kind of reformatting things in your life around career and, you know, goals and achievements and creativity, uh, you're probably going to see you know, a lot of new growth, basically. It's kind of like uh, having gone through a cycle of getting rid of the weeds and now stepping into a period of really being able to embrace uh, a much higher level of, um, you know, achievement, attainment, and creativity. Mm. You've got, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's looking quite good for you, actually. You've got Ooh, Uranus, that sounds Jupiter. great. Yes. You've got uh, Jupiter, Uranus conjunct in that second house. Um, and, you know, that may have been a source of uh, craziness for you as far as, uh, you know, things rising and falling unexpectedly, especially with your economics. But um, with this passage of Pluto moving, you know, in opposition to those two, it is going to be actually bringing... Um, unexpected resources to play. Um, this could come through legacy, inheritance, uh, winning, you know. I mean, don't hold back from going to uh, the casino every once in a while, buy a lottery ticket, that sort of thing, because these are very serendipitous energies. And uh, Pluto really has uh, that presence of kind of a slam dunk kind of move, you know, in basketball. It's like um, mm -hmm. a very exuberant kind of energy. So I would say the next four years, um, be prepared to, you know, take chances and to do that leap of faith thing because new doors are opening and you're going to find a lot of exciting opportunities coming up for you. So those are the two major highlights. Um and then just briefly, you currently have, um, we have um, a transit going on with Uranus kind of um, back and forth across your Venus for the last couple of years. And um, more immediately now, it's starting to really move itself forward and accelerate away from that. So... Um, I would say that you're going to be able to, you know, have the uh, the expectation of being able to revamp things in your personal surroundings. So next year you may find yourself um, downsizing your home or buying a new home or making a significant move, but definitely next year is a big year for you as far as uh, – your uh, your nest there, your dwelling where you're at. Well, that makes sense because we're talking about that actually. Mm -hmm. So you're right on. I, I'm picking up a lot of this, a lot of what uh, Chris is saying. I'm also picking up, and I've been sitting here and I've been tuning into your energy, Carol. And at first, I was feeling a lot of the healing taking place of people that have hurt you at a soul level in the heart, like stabbing in the back. I felt it being released as he was talking, and then when he started shifting into what he was talking about, I felt that your your heart chakra was saying to me, it's ready for the giving and receiving to really start to balance. So you did a little bit of healing just by listening to him. I want you to understand that. <laughs> I felt it at this end. Okay, so... That's exciting, you know, yeah. With, with regards to where you're going, whatever the chaos that's been in your life, Spirit is saying, you know, the... the screaming, yelling, and carrying on, and this could be with yourself in your head as well, okay? They're just saying that this is coming to an end because your vibrations about this move that Chris is talking about, they, they, they say they know in a vibrational way where it is that you just move, the self-worth of where you're going, and you just need to be aware that there's, there's something that's going to be revealed still to you. The truth hasn't been revealed, and I don't know if this is you not speaking the truth to somebody or someone's going mm -hmm. to say it to you, but I... I feel like there's a man, and it could be someone from the past, somebody who had very sharp words. They, they hurt you. And these words are still in a vibration within your soul right now. And they're just asking you to try and heal that because there's the truth is coming to the surface about this strong, solid man. The very analytical needs to know why. But somebody who's going to make you think. So I don't know if they're already currently in your life or they're coming into your life. 
but they're just saying that the light at the end of the tunnel, you're going to be there. And do know that this con you've been conforming to something right now. And they're saying that, you know, that conformance is no longer there, but you have the ability to give that. They're saying use your spiritual tools. You've got a lot of um, very strong vibrations that you can send out to the universe. That these are beautiful moments that make you feel really, really like it's wealthy. Like I feel rich inside. It makes me feel so good. They're saying they want you to Yay. focus on those to get many of them. And this is going to help you to where you're going. So I don't know if that fun side of you is no longer there or there's someone in a female who's around his bossy and dogmatic. Like, you know, they're bossy. They're not violent with their words or like big. But it's almost like they can boss around. So I don't know if it's a physical woman or this is you they're talking about. But that Did, wait, what, Carol, what was the woman again? What what does she do? She kind of bosses you around, tells you what to do. Bark, bark, oh, bark. okay. Okay. So they're letting you know that that fun side of you is not there because of this woman. So oh. they want you really vibe on that fun and, and you know, that creative life source energy, Carol. Go out and have some fun. Let the little girl come out to play. Because they're saying that you're ready to get into action. But there's some still some self-imposed fears that you need to deal with in order for you to be able to move forward. And they're saying you, it's just focusing on what you don't want instead of what you do want less. We're programmed mm -hmm. this way, but they're saying don't go there, especially with this woman. Because you're going to get very impatient if you're not already impatient already. And you think too much about this situation. So they want you to do the condo in my head exercise. If you go to my website after Carol, just roll over home and under Viber size, you'll see the condo in my head exercise. Do that. This will help you because they're saying there's no stress. This, whatever stress you're dealing with, it's leaving. And they're saying that the choices that you desire where you're moving, you've already made that with yourself. You've already made that with God. So it's just, Again, you just got to get through what you're going through right now. But I see a lot of good things. You're going to get what you desire, my dear. This oh, good. Is, I, That's I guess, very exciting. You know, I feel that, you know, eliminate the men with the sharp tongues, the men that have hurt you in the past, and go all the way back. There could have been somebody who was related to you or a neighbor when you were a child that they were always screaming and, and saying really hurtful things. Maybe not to you, but you heard it. They're, they're saying that there's men with very sharp words that need to be released or healed as well as women who boss you around. <laughs> so I know, you know I know exactly who the women are. Yeah, they're it's it's true. They're they're definitely there and I know who they are. Yeah. I'm not sure on the man, but um it, you don't know the truth about this person yet. Remember what they're saying? So this person might be very strong and very analytical right now and very strong for himself, but he might you might see a different side of them. So it could be anybody. Hmm. It could be a, a, at work. It could be out. Maybe you're out shopping and somebody starts freaking out. Just don't get – it's just to say – they're saying to you, just don't absorb it. Just observe what's going on and don't get pulled into it. Okay? So, okay. You know, again, I don't – they won't tell me what it is, so you probably haven't experienced it yet. So, to me, I just feel like they're saying that, you know, instead of reacting when somebody does this, don't do that. Just sit back, respond. And know that I think you're being tested, to be quite honest with you. I feel like you're being tested that are you going to stand up to your self-worth when this person says this to you? I think it's just a Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Good. Thank you for the heads up, though. Okay. I, I feel it's I feel it's career-related. I feel it's work-related. So you might go out to lunch or go to a meeting with somebody, and maybe somebody starts freaking out at somebody else. It's not part of you, but you see it. Hmm. Don't get absolved. Just send love. Okay, just send love. This is about your okay. self-worth and know if it's relying, if it comes at you, I feel like they're saying just, you know, see that person in a bubble of glass and know that that's a reflection of who they are. It has nothing to do with you. So okay. know that when you put, put them in that bubble of glass, they're sending back their own vibrations to themselves. But send them love at the same time, knowing that when people kind of act like this, you know, they're not really in the frequency of love. They're not in a good place themselves. So, you know, this is just a sign that, you know, show them that power that you have, that you have the ability to help heal other people as well because of what you've been through. You know what it feels like when certain people, you know, kick you in the or stab you in the back. Hmm. Right? So they're saying this is something that you're going to be able to share the love with, Carol. Okay. So well, that's, it. It's, it sounds great. It. <laughs> 
So let go of those fears, do the condo in my head exercise, and know that you know your patience will, will pay off, but you have to shut off the monkeys. Your, your monkeys in your head talk too much. Okay? Okay. So to me, that just do more meditation. And meditation could be just going outside and walking, um, just being in the moment or listening to music so that you're just in the moment. Again, it's just shutting off your mind so you're not thinking about stuff. Okay. okay. I think they're just saying, do this. It's going to allow you during this, you know, what Chris is saying, you've got a lot of things that are coming that, you know, allow the universe to bring it to you, be available, and live life like a sunset. Okay. Because if you have no expectations of what's coming down, just throw out the vibrations, that beautiful feeling, knowing that the universe can work with that and they can bring that into your reality, the new. Because we're all in the new. And what's coming your way, sister, I don't think you even can. I just feel so much self-worth connected when this co-creates in your life, how well that you're going to feel yourself. Oh, great. It it sounds all very positive. Yes. Yeah, I think you're definitely moving into a very bright period here. Did did you have any specific questions that you were wondering about? Um, Well, related to my chart or, or just questions, you know, like in general? Yeah, either one. Well, um, I'm interested in a book. Um, um, I do write, but I I'm not I ha- can't quite decide on what to write. I don't want to write anything of a negative nature. Um, I like to stay away from things like that if I can. You know, kind of keep because I have had a little bit of drama in my life, so I don't really um, want to write anything negative. But I'm just trying to come up with an idea. And do you see an idea coming for me, or um, I'm also well, yeah, looking for the return good. of a of a relative that's been gone for a while. And I, I'm just wondering, do you see something like that coming? Uh, that Carol, actually shows in in three months. Three months, Carol. Carol, we'll connect with you after. Three months. Free your mind with Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Eros Evolution is where sexuality and spirituality meets. Join me, clinical sexologist Martha Tara Lee, on Eros Evolution on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern on Om Times Radio. When Dad needed help getting around, I became his driver. Soon enough, it was up to me to be his housekeeper and financial manager, too. When he moved in, I became his cook and even his nurse. But no matter what roles I play, I know I'm still his daughter. We understand the roles you play. So to help, we created aarp.org slash caregiving, where you can connect with experts and other caregivers. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. My special guest, Chris Anderson, and I have been doing readings. And just before we went to commercial break, we were just finishing up with Carol. So Carol's still with us. And Chris, if you just want to go ahead and answer Carol's question. Yeah, uh, real fast here, Carol. Um, I think you're going to start getting a, like a thread of uh, intuition as far as your writing and your creativity. But what I got from higher level of consciousness was children's stories for adults so think in that format it's like um working on developing some um dialogue around um mythology uh creating myths or children's stories for adults i think that might be something that you could pursue and that it could become you know a really unique approach with writing i think you might find a whole audience out there that could be very excited about that. Does that make sense? Uh, it, it certainly sounds intriguing, 
And it, it's kind of a, a, a vein of some things I've been considering for sure, Chris. Great. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So that's, you kind of nailed that one, cool. yeah. They want you to get with well. the creative life source energy. That's the creative life source energy that they're, they're trying you to push. So that would go into the writing. So absolutely. Okay. And what was yeah, the three you know, months? What was the three months, uh, Chris? You, you were talking about a family member coming back, something like Correct. that. Correct. Yeah, and I feel like you're going to get the, that resolved in the next three months. You're going to find out where the person is or what's going on with the person, but uh, I do see answers coming, and it'll probably be right as we're moving into the early stages of summer or the tail end of spring. Oh, Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Absolutely. So thank you, for, thank you very much for entering the contest, and congratulations again. And uh, Well, thank you both you very much for everything you're doing for us. So it's it's been a great uh, privilege and a real treat. So thank you. Great. Thank you. Have a great you later, I, April. Bye. Okay, and I think that we now have Lisa on the line. And Good afternoon. Hey, Lisa, how are you, my dear? I'm good. How about you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Um, I'm going to put you over to Chris, and Chris can start this off again. So, Chris, Lisa? Great. Hi, Hi Lisa. And you are a Pisces, but you were born with... Uh, you know, that Piscean energy down at the bottom of your chart in your fourth house. So um, it's kind of a um, an awakening in your entire life <clears throat> to that sun sign of Pisces. In other words, you're in a cycle of discovery about your own spirituality, about your own personal truths, about what illusion really is and what truth actually is. So you're kind of in a pioneer life cycle in, in this entire life cycle. Uh, your moon's in Taurus, and you've got Venus in Taurus, so those two are very, very grounded, anchored in reality. <clears throat> and um, you do have a real creative bent about you. I don't know if you've pursued that with, uh, you know, career and that sort of thing, but the arts, painting, writing, um, anything that's creative like interior decorating, anything that's earthbound like uh, gardening and, you know, getting into uh, ecology, bonding with nature, anything like that is definitely going to, um, it's, it's going to give you answers. So when you're looking for, you know, direction in life, don't beat your brains out with reading books and stuff like that. Go out in nature, and that's where you're going to get answers almost immediately. Does that seem to make sense? I'm smiling, yeah. I uh, have a love for crystals, and I, I want to learn how to wrap them um, and actually sell jewelry. Uh, so that's just something I've been pondering, which is goes with the nature aspect of things. So that would be good. And, of course, an uh, avid gardener, love it, and a florist. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, this year you've got uh, Jupiter moving through uh, Libra, and the way it's affecting your chart is it's um, bouncing around your natal Uranus. It's going to be going in and out of your uh, 12th house, which is a house of spirituality. Um, so there are going to be sudden, unexpected events that cause you to go through um, really profound changes this year as far as your spiritual disciplines, your spiritual understanding, your sense of who you are in relationship to the universe and to those around you. So that's going to be kind of a, an interesting cycle of challenges because uh, the universe is going to try to, you know, set circumstances up where you do go through some very rapid evolutionary cycles here. So if it feels like, you know, the floor just fell out from underneath you, don't get freaked out because that's that Uranian influence and it's getting you to higher ground. It's getting you to a place of 
uh, greater depth and um, being more anchored in your own spiritual truth. And uh, the only other thing that really stands out is you've got Saturn at 29 degrees, which is a critical degree, in your seventh house. And every time that gets set off, you probably notice that it's like a whole bunch of people leave and a whole bunch of new people come in. Um, And that is going to start getting highlighted, I think, as we we move into May and June uh, of this year. So you may see... Um, kind of a a flushing out of the old individuals and old habits and old environments, and you're being drawn to, uh, um, I guess you could say, kind of reinvent yourself through the um, the circle of people that you associate with. That makes total sense. Uh, right now, I'm uh, I'm feeling quite lonely, to be quite honest, in that respect. Hey, Lisa, <laughs> here I love am. Your mother's, so, your mother's so powerful; she's kicking me off my show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to dead air. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Chris, are you still there? <laughs> I'm still here. Okay, so. She's just letting me know that 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 connection that you have with your daughter, she wants you to, um, you know, really reconnect with that with self, that love you give her, give yourself. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, I'm writing this down. <laughs> okay. Um, and it's almost like you know you 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 allow your monkeys to turn into orangutans and gorillas way too much. And you're stressing yourself out. And it's almost like they're saying that you need to know this soul is, you know, that soul sister that you are, that light that you are stepping into. It's almost like they're saying it's because you need to speak your truth because of what you did before. You're going into a completely different industry. Completely. Right? So it's almost like you're, you're starting fresh, they're saying. But you are connected to enough people that love and adore you for who you are. That will help you. You know, don't be afraid to ask. And again, they're saying that this is something that every time you asked and passed, you never got the help. So you don't even bother asking anymore. And they're saying, we're in the new now, Lisa. Let's shift this around, okay? Make sense? Okay. Well, okay. yeah. I'm jobless as uh, I have been for a while, which freaks me right out. And I don't know where I'm heading. Okay. So the mother dear is say there's a lot more going on. There's a lot more going on behind the scenes. Okay, just know that. Okay. Okay, you, you have to have faith in this. That's your mother's okay. working with you. She knows you're with her. You, you know, again, this is about you love what you're doing, so don't focus on what you don't want. Focus on what you do want, Lisa. You're still doing that, my dear. Your, your monkeys are getting too big. Okay. So, I mean, see, this is a new beginning, this new self-worth of this knowing that you can do this. I mean, again, like... You know, contact me after the show, and I'll give you a few love slaps in the face if you'd like. You know I love you. (laughs) So I I feel like spirit is saying, like, see life as that adventure. Like, live life like a sunset, okay? And no, right now you're living in the past too much, sister. You're fearing because of what happened with with work. But you're stepping into new. Right. And you very you you were at, at one point you were very you felt very rich and very favored or, you know, you knew that you were being respected where you were, but it didn't stick around. So that energy is still connected to you, knowing that you need to find that self-worth again, knowing that people will want to, you know, work with you or buy your crystals. I mean, Lisa, you've been in, you've been in the spiritual community for a very long time, my dear. It's like you popped up today. You've been around for a very long time. <laughs> you, know, you know your stuff. Don't, don't, that's that Pisces in you, sister. Don't beat yourself up over that. Okay? Know that you've got a very strong connection by yourself as well. And, and realize that, you know, if you could just shut the monkeys off, you might get some answers. Okay. Makes okay. sense. It's, monkeys uh, focus off. on, you focus on what you want now, my dear. Okay? Okay. It's, uh, they're just saying broad. <laughs> it's sorry i said so saying a job is way too broad no i i feel that 
you see yourself already in that position. Okay? And and hold on and when we get back, I'll I'll finish it off. Okay? Stay tuned, my okay. friends, be right back. Bringing you the best of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio, your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Om Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Om Times endeavor. Host your show with Om Times Radio Network. Dr. Kevin here, and I want to invite you every Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, to join me on The Dr. Kevin Show, where we have a diversity of guests who help you step outside the box, behind the curtain, and see what a load of crap is going on in the world today, so you have more information with which to make better decisions. We'll see you there. Namaste. Hello, I'm John Lithgow. Manatees are unique among the most amazing animals on Earth, but they're endangered. We pose the greatest threat to their survival. Many manatees are killed or injured by boats or other recreational activities. I'm a writer of children's books, including one about manatees, and I believe education is the key. You can be part of the solution. Please contact Save the Manatee Club right now. Call 1-800-432-JOIN. Thank you. commercial break I was doing a reading on Lisa. Are you still there, Lisa? I am. Cool. Is Chris here yet? I don't even, we lost Chris as well. Your, your, your mother was so powerful. She, she kicked both of us off the show. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, not very helpful, you know. <laughs> I'll call it, it's, but you know what, Lisa, see that as the power that's within you. She wants you to light yourself up right now. You, you need to understand of how powerful you we are. You are a very spiritual woman and you're a light work, my dear. And you know that. Right? So but you're so soft spoken and then just you know, again, there's that Piscean in you, like I am. And it's almost like they're saying you need to spread the wings. It's like the Phoenix rising. Okay? And know that when you start to focus on not having work at this moment here now, right here, they're saying Create those new vibrations that you spend, you know, magical moments you spent with your daughter over the last week. Use those, okay, because they're more current. And they're saying just feel that feeling again and, and put the energy there so that you're not putting that worry on the career, knowing that that will be a vibration to help bring in that to you. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Okay. Your vibrations regarding this work and what went down and how it's playing out right now in what you assumed was going to happen or expected and it's not happening, Spirit is saying we have to put that to rest and start fresh. <laughs> okay? So, okay. <clears throat> I just feel that they're saying that, you know, don't beat yourself up so much, Lisa. Right? And you have, you have a, a community, a spiritual community around you already, and you are connected with people who know people who know people. So this is about you shining your light, sister. Okay? okay. And know that you're a very sounds powerful soul. Simple. Sorry? I said it sounds simple. <laughs> but we both know it's not as simple as it is. No, right? So, yeah. you know, get back to do some evicting, okay. sister. Do the condo my head exercise again. Okay? And release okay. any of the old... There's a part two that I don't have on there yet, but I will be putting it on soon because you've been doing it for a while. So do yourself a favor, and when you when you find those gemstones connect to people, mm -hmm. try to replace them with a more current vibration with your daughter. So you're not still vibing on that person. Okay, so you're gonna okay. you're gonna refill your 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 vibe box is no longer gonna have people connected to, you know, best sexual chemistry, best connection, best brain sex. Like don't let let go of those things and fill them in with the vibrations of your daughter. 
That was feeling. Okay, those are your jeopardy. Okay, let those people go. They're saying they're not needed now, Lisa. Okay, make sense? Perfect. Your, yeah. your daughter, your, your daughter's going to allow you to finally heal the people that you've been vibing on to move forward, but you don't need to vibe on them anymore. It's time to let go. Okay. Make sense? I can do that. Yep, I know how. Okay. <laughs> so is there any question before you, you, you go, my dear? Is there anything you want to ask or something that you need to validate? No, you guys always hit everything on the nail. I don't need to ask. You got it. <laughs> okay. So that self-worth, where you're going, sister, bottom them up. Okay. Okay. And, and right. use your connection. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. Right. Have a wonderful day, my dear, and I'll talk to you soon, Lisa. For sure. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. And I don't think Chris has come back yet, so I think we actually lost Chris. So let's just talk a little bit more about April and what's coming up, and I'll just talk a little bit about what I've been picking up, um, about how April is, to me, we're aligning with oneness, where we are going to be connecting with the galactic center, with Saturn, in which is connected to the base or the root chakra. And it's really allowing us to reset, like reset, 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 reset. This is about realigning and, and, and going within and really doing whatever, the, the cleanup. You know, this is about revealing to you who you truly are, or reinventing yourself. And again, it's all about the re's. So do know that I'm picking up that, you know, it's a rebirth that's taking place. We are rebirthing within this new energy of who we truly are. And by keeping your vibrations in check, this allows you to really experience this. Again, we are soul having a human experience, so we do drop in emotions and we get pulled into the lower 3D vibes. However, we just don't want to live there. So this is spirit saying that there will be a lot of love slaps coming this way for a lot of people this month but it's, it's it's a good love slap it's to allow you to see that which you are refusing to see really and this is going to open up the door so that you can truly be in alignment with who you truly are that whatever's been controlling you for eons and eons and eons it, it's it's allowing you to be able to have balance in that that there's that control is no longer there and you're going to be able to go out there and just show the world who you are. <laughs> and one thing I have been noticing is, you know, there's so many beautiful channels that are out there within the spiritual community. And it's cool to see how, you know, so many have the same message, but it's how they present it. And that's the real cool thing about this, that, you know, as you're going through this journey and you're waking up and, and people are, are all ascending so that wisdom and knowledge within all of us is starting to unlock and this is allowing everyone to, to see that you are that unique piece of that puzzle that we are all creating together and that whatever you bring to the tables in your current vibrational match which will bring others to you with that same vibrational match so spirit is just saying you know when you're when you're out there and you're listening to videos or watching them or commenting or posting just be aware that your words, your thoughts, and your feelings want to be in the same vibration. Okay, you don't want to go out there and make a comment about somebody that's not in a high vibration because, again, it's going to be connected to you energetically. They're saying that, you know, if you really need to say something, maybe send them a private message. So it's not out there for everyone to see. And, you know, if you're following somebody and then you're not relating with them anymore, again, it's okay because maybe their frequencies are shifting in a different place where your frequencies are, are also going. So this will allow you to see that if this person's not in alignment with what you're feeling anymore, it's not that they're wrong. Please don't, you know, throw that out. It's, you know what, they are in alignment with who they believe they truly are and they're sharing that message. And it might no longer be in alignment with you. However, it doesn't mean that the other people following them feel the same way. So again, this is really where we have to understand this law of allowing. And that's why I teach the personality traits because, you know, you're going to be pulled to certain people for people right in certain ways. And if you turn around and you write, you know, a gold, you write gold to a blue audience, you're not going to get as many people pulling in. You're going to want to, you know, speak more blue to a blue audience. If you write gold or you are gold, then you want to turn around and be speaking to gold people. So 
I know that doesn't really make sense to a lot of you, but again, as we're going through this, this is about finding your uniqueness of who you are, because we're all part of this oneness. And every single person who is on this planet has, you know, a mission. You know, do they remember? It doesn't really matter. It just know that you're a part of it and whatever you're doing you're in alignment with where you need to be this is a process not a race and it does take time for us to go through this too many people are waking up and thinking Woo-hoo, i want to be where you are and they they go into information overload and they try to meditate for four days and you know they're just doing crazy things knowing that they're going to go into information overload and it's just not it's going to be more damaged than good so again you have to go through the process my friend you can't wake up one day and say, oh my gosh, I'm awake now, and think that you will be healed on the soul level overnight because somebody promises you they can do that in a reading. Again, just just be aware, do your homework with who's out there. There's a lot of people out there that are not there for the right reasons, but there's also a lot of people that are. So, and if you get pulled to somebody who's, you know, you don't, they take your money from you or they do you wrong or whatever it is, remember, you're in alignment with that. You You went there for a reason. So, again, we need to live in the moment and really embrace what is happening to us all, knowing that if you don't have any expectations, you can't be disappointed. And when we're going into the new, we don't know what the new is. So, you know, take the time this month to really get yourself in balance here to be able to reset all those things within your soul that needs, you know, um, releasing, I, you know, which is healing to me. And reevaluate who you are at a soul level, knowing that the world is waiting. And where we're shifting in energies, again, it's, it's in the play there. So, you know, there's there's a lot of people out there helping a lot of good people. Again, if you want to find Chris, he's at onefeatheredjournal.com. Um, myself, again, carryturcott.com. Um, you know, I have a lot of different readings that I do with a lot of different people. And it really depends on what you're looking for. Are you looking for a quick, you know, some quick clarity and, you know, let's go in and figure out where your vibrations are lower and where to shift them? Or do you need to go a little bit deeper, you know, or, you know, do you want to connect with loved ones on the other side through mediumship? Or did you want to do a luminous soul reading like Chris and I just did? There's so many on my website. So please, you know, go out to my website, check out the Viber sizes. They're there to help you all, to help you get through this journey. Because, you know, again, any true teacher knows that we can help guide you and help navigate. But you have to do the work yourself. You can't do that. Just like, you know, we have to work at practicing what we preach or what we teach, for that matter. And again, a lot of times, you know, people don't realize that I might have this beautiful ability to help other people, but I'm also here to learn lessons. So it's not like I can use this ability on myself, and that's why I work with other people. And that's why, you know, if I need to connect um, with spirit, I'll go out to another healer or another psychic or um, a medium. So, you know, it's it's... It's cool. I just got a message from Chris saying that he, something just happened at his end. So, you know what? You know, we'll send our love out to Chris and thank him so much for coming this week and doing these readings um, for both Carol and for Lisa. And again, you know, go to my website, carryturcott.com, under readings, Luminous Soul Readings, where it's a half an hour with myself and a half an hour with Chris. Um, they probably would not be on the same day simply because we're in two different places. Um, and it's a hundred dollars us and you can just go on and, and click and you can pay right there and, uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I get the payments. So it's, uh, I feel grateful and blessed that Chris and I are doing this to help other people, just aligning you with who you truly are. This is about your soul journey, not ours. And to know that you are in alignment exactly where you need to be. So have a wonderful week, my friend. I love you all. And. I will see you next week on Five Nation Radio. Take care. Bye.